In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your Facebook posts automatically onto your WordPress website in beautiful feeds like this. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Facebook Feed Pro plugin. The plugin lets us embed our Facebook posts in fast and responsive feeds without having to use any coding. To purchase and download Facebook Feed Pro, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Facebook Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now, inside your dashboard, hover over plugins and click on Add New. Then go and click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload a zip file for Facebook Feed Pro like this. And click on Install Now. Then go ahead and activate the plugin. And there we go, Facebook Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we create our first Facebook feed, let's go and activate the license key for the plugin. On the left hand side, you'll now notice Facebook Feed. Hover over it like this and click on Settings. Here, beside License Key, we can paste the license key from our Smash Balloon account. Go ahead and paste it and click on Activate. As you can see, our license key has now been activated, so we can begin creating our first Facebook feed. Once again, on the left hand side, under Facebook Feed, click on All Feeds. Then go and click on Add New at the top. With Facebook Feed Pro, you have several different feed types you can create. For example, you can create a feed of posts from your Facebook timeline, a feed of posts from your Facebook page, a feed of videos from your Facebook page, a feed of albums from your Facebook page, and more. For this video, we want to display our Facebook posts automatically on our WordPress website. So for that, we can continue with the Facebook timeline feed that's already selected for us here, so we can go and click on Next. And now we'll have to add a source for our Facebook feed. Go and click on Add New. And here we can select the source type, whether it's a Facebook page or a group. For this tutorial, we're going to create a feed of posts from our Facebook page, so that's already selected. So we can go and click on Connect to Facebook. And this will take you into Facebook, and here you'll see all the Facebook pages associated with your Facebook account. Go ahead and select the Facebook page you want to add as a source, like this, and then click on Next. And here it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook account. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but we won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on your behalf. It's completely safe. Go ahead and click on Done, and then click on OK. And now you should see that Facebook page we added as a source right here. Select it, and then click on Add. Then select it as a source, and click on Next. And for our last tip, we can select from one of these professionally designed templates for the appearance of our Facebook feed. We have options like the default, simple masonry, widget, simple cards, and more below. For this tutorial, let's go ahead with the simple masonry and then click on Next. And just like that, we have a beautiful preview of our brand new Facebook feed. Our plugin automatically loads all of your latest Facebook posts directly into this feed. And as you can see, it's in that masonry template that we selected earlier. But before I show you how to embed this onto your WordPress website, let me show you how to customize this. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Here you'll find options to modify the layout of your Facebook feed. Currently, you can see you have the main street layout selected, which shows all of your posts in rows and columns in the original sizes, like this. Alternatively, you can go with the list layout, which displays all of your Facebook posts in a single column list, like this. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which lets you swipe through your Facebook posts like this. Proceeding with the masonry layout, if you look down below, you can choose how many posts you want to display on your feed. To change this, all you have to do is just modify the number here, just like that. And that change will be made instantly inside our live preview on the right hand side. And below that, you can also choose how many columns you want to display on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. If you make any changes to the layout of your feed, go and click on Save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your Facebook feed, you can do that as well. Once again, under the Customize tab, click on Color Scheme. As you can see currently, it's set to Inherit from Theme. This means that your Facebook feed is automatically loading the colors from your WordPress theme to match your website's design. Alternatively, you can go with the Light theme, a Dark theme, or even a Custom theme where you can select the exact colors you want for your Facebook feed like this. And if you make any changes, don't forget to hit Save on the top right corner. The plugin also allows you to add a header to your Facebook feed. To do this, go into Header on the left hand side, and as you can see, currently it's disabled. To enable it, just click on this button here, and that has instantly added a new header design to your Facebook feed. You can see that this is one of the two different designs we have available. This is the visual header type, which has your Facebook page cover photo, profile picture, and page name as well. Next, we have the text header style, which has a customizable text header at the top like this. You can choose whichever style you like, or you can choose to disable it entirely as well. For this tutorial, we're going to leave it like this and click on Save on the top right corner. With Facebook Feed Pro, you can also add filters to choose the exact content you want to display on your feed. To do this, click on the Settings tab and then click on Filters. Here, you can choose to display posts posted by the page owner, page owner and visitors, or just by visitors as well. And below that, you can also add keywords to hide or show specific posts containing that specific keyword. You can also add filters to only show posts within a certain date range. This way, you can choose the exact content you want to display on your Facebook feed. If you've added any filters, go and click on Save on the top right corner. Now that we've created a Facebook feed and learned how to customize it, let's go and embed it onto our WordPress web page. To do this, go and click on Embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, 
and then click on Add to a Page. Then select the page you want to add your Facebook feed to and click on Add. On your WordPress web page, you have two different options to embed your Facebook feed. You can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that you copied like this, or if you're using Block Editor, you can use our dedicated Facebook feed block like this. With this option, you'll instantly see a live preview of your brand new Facebook feed directly inside your WordPress web page. So we can now click on Update and check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. And here we are on our live website, and right in the middle of the page, we can see our brand new Facebook feed with all the latest posts from our Facebook page embedded automatically within. It's also using the masonry layout we selected, and it looks amazing on our web page. If a website visitor wants to check out any of these posts, they can click on the photos like this, allowing them to view the photos in that post directly from your WordPress website. How convenient is that? And if someone wants to engage with the post, they can click on this box here, and they have the option to go and comment on Facebook, or view the post on Facebook as well, or share it on their Facebook timeline. If you want to learn how to add a Facebook feed like this onto the sidebar or footer of your website, you can do that as well. Here we are back inside the plugin, and this time I'm using the widget template so that we can embed our Facebook feed inside the sidebar. Let's go and click on Embed once again. We can copy our shortcode, and this time instead of clicking on Add to a Page, click on Add to a Widget instead. And this brings us into the WordPress Widgets menu. In this tutorial, I want to add our Facebook feed into the main sidebar. To do this, we have the same two options as before. We can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode we copied, or we can use a dedicated Facebook feed block like this. And straight away, we have a live preview of our Facebook feed once again, so we can go and click on Update and check out what it looks like on the front end. And here we are back inside our WordPress dashboard, and right in the middle, you can see that Facebook feed we created in the mainstream layout. But on the right hand side, you'll now notice a sidebar, and we have our Facebook posts embedded directly within as well. So we've successfully added our Facebook posts both into the WordPress web page and onto the sidebar as a widget as well. And on both feeds, it will automatically load your latest Facebook posts directly onto your WordPress website. If you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.